Hi, this is Bobby, your favorite Swedish cowboy. Today I will tell you the story behind one of my favorite legendary pro skins, the Deagle Schwanico. Uh, this skin is a real favorite of mine and it was crafted and used uh, by the legend Nikola Kovac. I'm sure you all know him by the other name, Nico. And uh, he's currently playing with G2 and in the past uh, years he played for Face Clan and Mouseports. So let's uh, start by looking at the skin itself. Uh, it's a factory new Desert Eagle Blaze with a float of 0 0.01032. And it has two Nico Clutch Napoca Dream Act 2015 stickers on it and uh, one Mouseports foil sticker from Cologne 2015. The Nico stickers are actually quite expensive today, e even though they are on the papers. And last I checked, they sold for over 100 USD on the Steam market. And the Cologne mouse foil uh, sell for about 15 USD. So the total cost, if you wanted to do a replica of this uh, skin, would be about 700 USD, including the Deagle Blaze, of course, uh, which sells for around 500 US dollars right now. Nico crafted the Schwanico back in 2015 and at the time he was playing for Mouseports, which uh, explains the sticker choice. And uh, since then he held on to this craft and uh, Schwanico has played the role in many legendary Deagle plays. Let's have a look at some of them, uh, starting with Nico's insane Deagle Ace against Titan on cash in ESL Pro League Season 2. Enjoy! Oh. Nazi's by is going to be torn away from them very, very quickly by Simon. Oh my god! Nico oh gets three to four! Oh my god! I don't believe it! Shocks them! That's just to find one more. The Molly isn't going to touch him. And what on earth has just happened as Deagle is on fire? And Shucks is going to walk into it as well. Nico is on fire. Five. He recovers the AK as well. It looks like Sully gone back to source where the Deagle becomes the orb, apparently. But Nico, absolute class play there. The next legendary place is Deagle Ace from E League 2016 in a game against Face Clan. Let's look at this clip. Fire. We will see what they do with this minute they have on the clock. The mid area is very important for both teams. If the T's take the mid area, they can split either side. And that reduces the places that the CT can hide on. Three more CTs left. Dennis and Nico. Key men here because they've got big armor. And Nico's putting in more damage. Well, what is that? No! Four kills! That is, you can't do this! There's only one more person to find. Down to the one versus one. Is he really gonna ace? Nico! There is a reason he's called the best player in the world. And I think we're witnessing it. Last but not least, uh, let's check out the miss that made this eagle even more famous. Uh, when he missed Simple in the major uh, Stockholm Finals against Navi in 2021 on Nuke. And it's Simple and Bit. Times it to perfection. And Simple sitting no! no! Disaster! The shot! An absolute disaster! That was it! That, that was, was the game! It, that was it! This skin truly played a role in many historic CSGO moments, so no wonder this craft has been copied by others, even though the Blaze is an expensive skin. When I searched CSGO Float, I found uh, 118 replicas of this craft. And uh, you can also find a lot of meme crafts referring to this miss in Stockholm. Uh, skins like this one, for example. And uh, of course, I also wanted uh, one for uh, my collection. And I could have easily bought one on the market or uh, on buff. But uh, why do things easy when you can do things perfect? So <laughs> instead, I decided to do a trade up and recreate the same exact float as the one Nico has on his own uh, and then do a sticky craft on that one. And uh, to do that I did a budget for doing 12 trade-up attempts for a Deagle Blaze since that would statistically get me 96% chance of hitting the Deagle Blaze and every trade-up attempt cost me about 85 USD using one mil spec skin from the Dust Collection and nine from the Italy Collection. So let's check out if I succeeded with my trade-up. The first trade-up uh, I hit the right collection but the wrong skin. That's kind of frustrating. Then I missed a total of seven trade-ups in a row. But finally I hit my 11th attempt 
and I regret I didn't record sound when hitting it. I woke up my neighbor screaming, yee And uh, of course I would have preferred hitting it on the first one, but this is how it is with trade-ups. Hoping for easy profit, it's just a lie to yourself. Then all I had to do was the sticky craft to complete it all, and uh, you can see the end result here. Uh, I really enjoyed doing this product, it was a lot of fun and I hope that you enjoyed uh, to watch my first attempt to make some CSGO related YouTube content. Mm, please uh, like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you uh, enjoyed it and want to see some more. And I would also gladly get uh, some feedback on how I can improve my videos and uh, I hope to get back with some more legendary pro scans in the future. And uh, I hope to see you soon!